Hi guys, it's me. So it's that time again for Explorations of Me, which is a monthly pop group that I belong to, um, where we discuss really wonderful topics every month. So the prompt for this month is, have you been given a piece of advice that you would pass on to other and what is it? So my piece of advice is to let go if it's not working and to be open because um, I have a tendency like to try to kind of justify bad situations that I shouldn't be in anymore um, uh, or try to make them work even though they're not working um, or, you know, or just basically obligate myself to be um, to do things that I really don't want to do anymore, just to be honest. So um, I think that the best piece of advice that I got is just to let go if it's not working. And that just goes for everything. I mean, I'm thinking about two um, situations that I can mention. So the first one is that um, I am Catholic and I belong to this group within our church. And um, I was very, very happy. I was in the group for like 10, I think, it, well, maybe it was like, it was close to 10 years. Um, and recently I left the last two years, um, before and, um, and I just, um, it got to the point where there was just so much stuff going on, um, that, that I could no longer be a part of, but, um, I kept like telling myself like, Oh, it's going to get better. It'll be okay. You know, you're just crazy. You know, like it wasn't, it was kind of just like people's relationships with each other and trying to get other people in there, but it just wasn't, it just didn't feel right. Like that's not the kind of person that I want to be. Um, I don't want to get involved in all this drama and craziness and all that stuff. Like that's just not who I am. And, um, I think that you should treat everyone with kindness and respect because, um, for a lot of years I didn't do that. So that's definitely an area that God has worked with me through. So, um, it was, it was, it's just really hard to watch people like attack and destroy each other, if that makes sense, and go to levels and use things against each other that should never be used against each other. So, um, anyway, it just, it was such a draining experience. Like I just hated, you know, being a part of it at the end of it. Like, it was just like, I wasn't hearing anything. My relationship with God suffered. It was just a, not a fun place for me to be in at all, basically. Um, just totally draining, spiritually draining and emotionally draining. So, um, you know, so finally I got up enough courage to leave, you know, and it's been great. Like I have a newfound relationship with God, you know, I always went to church, but now, you know, um, I think there's that period when you leave something where you're kind of afraid or you're apprehensive and you don't know what your life's going to be like after that. Um, so I think I'm over that hump, you know, it doesn't feel weird or anything like that. So, um, but it just wasn't working for me. And that's not to say that this group doesn't work for other people because it does. And I was so happy there and I saw a lot of miracles and just unbelievable things and um, just relationships and families repaired, healings that, that happened and all that stuff. So I keep that stuff and it's kind of really beautiful, you know, and I definitely grew in my relationship with God. So it's such um, a beautiful time of my life, but also a painful time. And I learned a great lesson to let go if it's not working and to be open because, you know, I'm able to do other ministries in my church that, um, really speak to me and really make me happy. So, you know, it's like when you let go of something, something new can happen, you know, and I see that with my YouTube channel. Like when I first started this YouTube channel, it was kind of on a whim and I just started making videos. I really didn't have a plan. And then, you know, I kind of got in my head, like what I wanted this channel to be and all this crazy stuff for, so for the past three or four, eight months, I've just taken that pressure off of myself, you know, of, of comparing myself to other channels of, of, um, being sad about the growth of this channel of, you know, wanting people desperately to watch my videos. Like I just have even done that with this channel and I feel so much better and I've been able to focus on other things and not be so intense. So in a way I had to let go of the vision of my YouTube channel in order to um, be open. And it's amazing how many possibilities have came in my life as a result of that. So, um, 
yeah, amazing. Like I get to teach wonderful people, you know, three or four times a month. Um, and I get to see their creativity blossom, like in front of my eyes. It's such a beautiful thing. Plus I have developed just unbelievably beautiful friendships with you guys, with, with my subscribers. I mean, people are incredibly generous with me. They leave me beautiful comments, you know, and, um, I'm so happy to know that I inspire them. That is such a beautiful thing. You know, I've been able to work more on my art and, you know, and I have my five little troopers that, that support this channel and that definitely believe in this work that I'm doing, um, to help people be more creative and, and to know that, you know, everyone's an artist and a creator and it's beautiful. So if I wasn't able to let go of the vision that I thought, you know, that my art business or that I thought my creativity had to be like in this little YouTube bubble, like I wouldn't be doing the things that I'm doing now. So, um, I think that we need to not be afraid to let go. If it's not working, if it's not making us feel good, you know, and I know, and I don't mean that, to, I don't mean to say that, like, because lots of things you need to do that don't feel good, like, like, if you need to, if you have kids at home, and you don't like your job, you should probably keep working your job to feed your kids, like, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that, um, you know, until you can find a situation that is making you happy, maybe, but, um, yeah, but I think sometimes we hang on to things because we're afraid to let go of them and we don't know what's going to happen. But um, just with those two things recently, I've seen that when I let go, you know, that God has me covered, you know, or that or the universe or whatever you believe in um, always provides and there's more opportunities, you know, and I love Julie Andrews and I know that she lost her voice a few years ago. And um, it's amazing just to, I love, I was watching an Oprah interview of hers and, you know, she lost her beautiful voice, which I love. Like I love the sound of music and Victor and Victoria and all her movies. <laughs> She's amazing. I love her voice. And just to know that she lost this thing that was so precious to her, but you know, now she's writing these beautiful children's books with her daughter, you know? Um, so to know that, that just because, um, something, just because what we want or what we think should happen, doesn't happen, doesn't mean that, that it's all over. Okay. So I'm sorry, this is long, but this is part of, um, the prompt basically. And I want to talk you through it and kind of share my experience and maybe it'll help somebody. I don't know. I'm probably babbling, but, um, I wanted to share that with you. So I am going to create my page and I hope that you like it. I'm going to maybe make a quote or something. We'll see what I come up with. So, um, thank you so much for listening to me and continue to watch and I'll see you at the end. This is for my babies. My beautiful baby, 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 baby. Oh, 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 oh. Today I saw you all stressed out You couldn't even leave the house All of this pressure you put on yourself I think you're beautiful, I don't want nobody else
this is the page let go if it's not working and be open so um, as you saw I use my deco arts um, spray acrylic sprays they're actually permanent so it's great and this is just on a gesso piece of paper I don't think I mentioned that and then I just use my pens I used a little bit of white I went back in with white too um, and I just used different script and I made a quote that I really love that I think is really cool <laughs> and then I'm gonna put in my journal and it's gonna be great so really fun very easy very basic but I really hope that you check out the other ladies and their videos um, because it's so inspirational and it'd be great to see um, what is their great piece of advice that they've gotten and hopefully this piece of advice will help you the way that it continues to help me so let go if it's not working and be open because there's always a new opportunity so I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching um, and thank you guys so much for your support too because of this platform of YouTube I've been able to do some amazing things and I can't wait to see um, where life is going to take me <laughs> So thank you for your support and to my special patrons you guys are just amazing and I can't tell you um, Hopefully I tell you enough how much you mean to me and um, how fabulous you are because you totally are Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye